In this lab, we will be granting Unix entities and roles to Jesse, the system admin, Ramon Jimenez, and Jeremy Silva, the DBAs. We will be doing this with Access Manager, with Active Directory Users and Computers, and with AD Edit. Then we will verify that each user can only access the systems that they're supposed to access. We will be performing all these functions from client one with Jesse's account. First, we've got to verify that users have an Active Directory account. Have this little remind reminder here to find out who they are. So we're going to go to the staff OU, and we can see that Jeremy, Raymond, and Jesse have valid users. Let's take a look at uh, Jeremy. Notice that Jeremy, when we go to the Centrify Profile tab, does not have any entries in that. First, let's go ahead and add Jesse's account. Remember that Jesse is a Unix administrator. That means that he's going to get the role of a super user across all systems. So what we need to do is open the zone, in this case HQ, and navigate to the Unix data node. To create a, a Unix identity using Access Manager, all we need to do is right-click Users and click Add User to the Zone. You will notice that the Find window will pop up, and at this point, we can just type in the name of the person and do a find. In here, we will get the dialog boxes to complete the Unix identity of the user. As we check each box, the user will get the defaults that were set up at the zone level in a previous lab. We can always override the identity. For example, notice that the login name is defaulting to the same user that the user has in AD. But this may not be convenient if you have platforms like HPOX or AIX that do not like more than eight characters. I'm just going to standardize and override here and say J. Matthews will be his login name in Unix. Notice that the UID and GID are uniquely generated from the SID and the geckos is going to be picked up from the display name in AD. Also, the home directory and shell will be picked up from the defaults on the system. Now the user has a Unix identity. If we click on the user's node, you should be able to see that. But the next thing that the user needs is a role. We already went through the exercise of creating our roles, and we decided that super users will have a role assignment at the zone level because they need to be able to manage all users. So all I need to do is go to the authorization node at the zone level, click on role assignments, and I can do it two ways. I could go to ADUC and find that group and add him into that, or from AD properties. This is the same as going into Active Directory Users and Computers and pulling up the properties for that group. All I need to do, again, is add Jesse to that group. And that's it. We've granted Jesse a Unix identity and a role. We could do this also from ADUC. And let's do it with uh, Ramon this time. I can just double click Ramon's identity go to the Centrify Profile tab and click on the domain and, and the user information and click Add. It's going to prompt me to find the zone that I want to add the user to. Remember, the users can have different identities in different zones. So I'm going to do the same thing. Check all the boxes. And in this case, I'm just going to override the identity here. The user has an identity. Now I need to grant them a role and I can just go to the member of tab and add them to the Unix. In this case, it's going
going to be the Unix database server users. That's it. My user has a role at the user database level. With Jeremy, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to do everything from AD Edit. So for that, we need to connect to our system. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, connect to Send One. An interesting problem that I have is that I don't have any a valid AD users, so I need to find a way to launch um, AD Edit, but be previously authenticated. Um, Centrify, the Kerberos utilities are included, compiled with the shared objects from Centrify, so we can run knit and specify um, a user, for example. And I guess I have to point K and A to the right place. So it will be user share centrify VZ. And that will be Kerberos bin. And it's going to prompt me for the password for administrator in this case. And now um, I have a ticket granting ticket for administrator. That means that I can run AD edit. In, in his context. And first thing I need to do is bind to the domain. The next thing I need to do is set the zone that I'm, that I'm going to be working in. And in my particular case, I know that my zones uh, DN is CN container equals HQ and uh, OU equals zones OU equals Unix domain component equals corp domain component equals contoso domain component component equals com that's it so now to enable the user all I need to do is um, uh, enable it say okay new zone user and this case will be Jerry, Jeremy Silva. And I'm going to put the UPN. Now um, I have created the user or I've given the user the identity, but I need to populate the identity. So the, the, the verb is set zone user field and then username would be J Silva. Then uh, I can use S Z U F U I D. And so it's generated from Zid. I'm going to do this. And same thing for G I D. Going to set the geckos to the display name, and uh, the um, home directory to our variables. That way, it can pick up the system variables. Would be. curly brackets home and then percentage curly brackets user and um, we're going to do the same thing for the shell but it will be a little bit different it will be so these are we have the identity of the user. Um, we can just show 